Hello, this project is a graphic user interface using the Nexus library and what it allows you to do is create drum patterns in this grid here. From there you can generate extensions of those drum patterns using the magenta drum RNN model and from there you can send these drum patterns into Sonic Pi via OSC messages and continue to change and modify and generate new drum patterns that will update in Sonic Pi without having to change or write any new code here. So to start it off, I'm going to start Sonic Pi running here. I'm then going to add a uh, sound. I hit send beat and then that sound gets played in Sonic Pi. I can then go into the grid and start adding new drum patterns. You'll notice the grid change color. This is just a reminder to the user now that what's in the grid is not the same that's being played at the moment in Sonic Pi. So I will hit send beat and then that will change it and then update the sounds as well, the pattern. Now, all the sounds are loaded into Sonic Pi, which means I can change them at any time I want, even within the context of the program running. So say I want to change that kick drum. I also have these different kits set up in each one of these arrays, some of which I've loaded my own samples, some are in Sonic Pi. And then I have this drop down menu, which allows you to hear those sounds change immediately. they update in real time as well. So I'll go through here, add a couple more sounds into this drum pattern. I'll hit send and this will update as well. And then I come down here and I can click generate and it will generate me an extension of this drum pattern here. I can also adjust the temperature so I can sort of see that. I can also modify and change, add some stuff, take some stuff away from the generated pattern as well. So now I will send that pattern. Here I have the option of what I want to play. I can have the original pattern play. I can click it and it will then just play the generated pattern or I can have them play one after another. I also have the option here, I can switch. So now the generated pattern is transferred up to the original pattern here. And then I can start generating drum patterns off of that generated beat. Okay, and again, I can make some changes here, take some stuff out. Now, all the timing is handled in Sonic Pi, so this now gives me the opportunity to go into Sonic Pi and start to add some more instruments. So this can now be a tool to be used within a live coding context here. So I'm generating my own drum beats, but at the same time, I can then be adding plenty of other sounds to go along with it. Okay, and I can make those sort of updates here. here, make some other changes, change the model, update the model. So the, the benefits and the good of this project, I think one is that it really gives an opportunity for people who maybe don't understand the code side of machine learning to still have some fun with it, interact by just using this grid. Uh, even if they don't want to add in anything else in Sonic Pi, they can experiment with that and see the changes in real time. In addition, I think it really puts machine learning into more of a collaborative position with the user where you can react off what the machine has generated you can change it, you can modify it, all within a real-time performance context. So it is not just making an output that you can then take and at a later time you can change or compose to it. This is real-time feedback. You are interacting and reacting to what the machine is doing to really make it almost like a band member in a collaborative setting.